some breaking news now. We want to listen in on a Boston courtroom uh, where we have uh, Aaron Hernandez, who has already been convicted of one murder charge, now on two, a uh, double murder charge, actually, has been found not guilty on one of those. Uh, we'll hear about the other charge as well. This was a second incident that after he was convicted of the first that many know from for when he was playing for the Patriots came about. Let's listen in. You find the defendant not guilty. With, in, with respect to indictment 2014-10417, offense 004, charging armed assault with intent to murder, victim Gerson Lopes, you find the defendant not guilty. With respect to indictment 2014-10417, offense 005, charging armed assault with intent to murder, victim Rexidi Sanchez, you find the defendant not guilty. With respect to indictment 2014-10417, offense 006, charging assault and battery by means of a dangerous weapon, to wit, firearm, victim, Aquilino Freire, you find the defendant not guilty. With respect to indictment 2014-10417, offense 007, charging possession of a firearm, not homework, no license, to wit, a 38 caliber revolver, the date of July 16, 2012. You say the defendant is guilty of this offense as charged, and with respect to indictment 2015-10384, offense 001, charging witness intimidation, you find the defendant not guilty. So say you, Madam Foreperson? Yes. So say you all members of the jury? Yes. Your Honor, may the verdict slips be filed. They may. Please be seated. Let me say to all jurors, both our deliberating jurors and our alternates, uh, how much I thank you for the time that you have given to this case, and now approaching two months in duration since we first saw all of you. You have given, and well, you've made an enormous sacrifice in giving us your time and your attention, and I thank you for it. I thank you on behalf of the parties. I thank you on behalf of the court. You have faithfully discharged your duty in this case. To our deliberating jurors, by my count, you've spent approximately 37 hours staring at one another and reviewing the evidence in this case and coming to an agreement upon that evidence and what that evidence showed. And I thank you again on behalf of the parties and the court for your careful uh, attention to the evidence and your deliberations. Your service is now concluded, and you will be discharged with the thanks of the court. And having served here, you are all now disqualified from jury service for the next three years. So we cannot again impose on you until, what will it be, uh, early 2020. I'm going to ask if the jurors would return to the jury room. I'd like to come up and speak with you personally but your service now is formally concluded and you are discharged with the thanks of the court. Jurors may be excused. All rise, please. Jurors, please step out. If you are just joining us, we were listening in. Aaron Hernandez, the former New England Patriots star, found not guilty in a double murder dating back to 2012. Now, this is almost two years to the day since he was found guilty for the death of Odin Lloyd, and he is serving a life sentence for that. Uh, for more on this, we want to bring in Mike Bellow from the Boston Globe, their deputy city, city editor. Mike, I just gave some sketchy details, but if you can just sort of explain to us, a lot of people think Aaron Hernandez already in prison. What was this case that he was facing the double murder charge for? Well, this was a stunning verdict. Uh, this case stemmed from a uh, shooting, a double murder, back on July 16, 2012. There was a drive-by shooting uh, in Boston's South End in the early morning hours. Two men shot to death 
the uh, prosecution had said Aaron Hernandez had fired those fatal bullets. There was a key witness in the case, Alexander Bradley. It was Hernandez's former friend and marijuana supplier. Uh, they gave him immunity from prosecution to testify against Hernandez in this trial. It boiled down to whether the jury bought Alexander Bradley's testimony. Did they believe him? And Bradley gave a blow-by-blow -blow description of the shooting, saying Hernandez was the shooter, that he leaned over him and fired these deadly shots. The jury, after 37 hours, did not buy this. In fact, the only thing uh, Mr. Hernandez was found guilty of was uh, unlawful possession of a handgun. He was even found not guilty of witness intimidation uh, in terms of firing a shot at Bradley to silence him, fearing that he would talk about his involvement in these double murders. So it was quite a stunning blow to the prosecution uh, in Suffolk County at this point. The defense uh, attorney, Baez, uh, really railed on Bradley's credibility at trial, uh, badgering him in a brutal cross-examination. Uh, obviously, the jury was paying close attention. Yeah, and the victims in this case, Daniel De Abreu, Sefiro Furtado, you mentioned Bradley there. Wasn't that he was shot in the face, uh, wasn't he, or allegedly he, shot in the face by Hernandez, but shot in the face? He was shot right near the eye, right near the eye. Yeah, uh, if, uh, and his eye actually, I think he has a prosthetic eye. Uh, after being shot, and he appeared on the stand with that eye. And Mike, so many people obviously remember Aaron Hernandez and the earlier case, this 2013 case, which he is was found guilty of the murder of Odin Lloyd and is serving a life sentence for that. This case came out after he was already charged in that. Is that correct? That's right. This whole case, you know, Lloyd was found uh, dead uh, in North Attleboro, right near Hernandez's home. Uh, apparently, that occurred uh, back in June of 2013. Uh, after that, uh, he was arrested. Uh, there was evidence that surfaced about a, uh, uh, a fight at the Cure nightclub, some disagreement, uh, and uh, some people. There was some video of uh, placing Hernandez at that nightclub, uh, and more information came out about a gun used in that slaying that was found in a car uh, that allegedly had uh, belonged to Hernandez and was, had been in Connecticut. Uh, once authorities found that gun, they began to piece together a case trying to link Hernandez to that double uh, murder. So uh, what's amazing is, is that uh, had he not been found guilty in the Lloyd case or had that Lloyd case not happened, who knows whether the other double murder or this prosecution would have even taken place. But obviously one led to the other. And, and the slaying of Lloyd, uh, you know, there was some talk that Hernandez was afraid that Lloyd would talk about his involvement, his alleged involvement in the, a prior crime, and uh, that he killed Lloyd because he thought Lloyd perhaps was talking to police. Yeah, and we were just looking at pictures of Aaron Hernandez there. It looked like uh, hugging family or friends, possibly before he left the courtroom. Uh, two years after he was convicted in the death of Odin Lloyd, a far cry from the Patriot star that so many remember him as. Mike Bello, thank you for filling in all the details on that. We appreciate it.